I believe this is a process known as small talk. It is not my specialty, but I will do my best. Modix is a manufacturing company. They are most notable for creating Model A robots. Their headquarters was once located on Earth's moon. It was evacuated during the cataclysm that rendered Earth uninhabitable. Today, Lunar Robotics products are still found throughout the settled systems, myself included. My internal clock tells me that it has been years since Barrett and I began traveling together. I have traveled much of the settled systems in his company. Oh, we're surveying another planet. It's my hail one. And I believe there's even a quest here from the way it looks like. We got, what do we have here? We got hills, we got forests, the planet a swamp, the planet is not looking half bad and probably a coast. I don't see no coast yet, so swamp coast, I hate it, so there might be fish. It looks like there are fish. That's the first thing. Yeah, this looks very fishy. Oh dear. <gasps> okay, and there's low gravity. Second off, I have downloaded a mod. But I'm also gonna showcase a little bit, and I struggled to get it installed. I installed it in three different Good ways. Day, it's Vasco. He is a voice changer with Captain. Mass Effects Legion. Greetings. I am ready to commence a trade. It's a little bit darker. I don't know if you can tell the difference. But yeah, we're gonna ask him some questions and see how that voice mod sounds like. You may. I will do my best to provide satisfactory answers. I just... I should have recorded the change. Oh, that's on me. Anyways, I'd like to know more about what makes you tick. I am powered by wheels and cogs. They are responsible for any ticking that emanates from me. Oh... Uh... How much do you know about humans? Constellation has seen to it that I possess a near encyclopedic knowledge of human history, art, culture, and science. May I answer a question for you? Damn, I don't think that's too much of a change anyways. The voice mod, a little bit darker, a little bit more fry. Do you speak every human language? I have been programmed to comprehend all modern and ancient human languages. The only exception is body language. My body is crafted from reinforced metal and therefore incompatible with such forms of expression. Oh my commander, please. Oh no. Ah, do you know any human jokes? I am looking at one. I hope you that was off. a suitable response. Oh. Constellation did not equip me with a sense of humor. I have done my best to mimic Barrett's. Oh, you bastard. I knew that joke was coming. That's... Yeah, that's... that's I've heard about it before. What was the greatest invention in human history? Logically, I believe the correct answer to be the airplane followed shortly by the computer. Humans could not have become a spacefaring species without them. Illogically speaking, I am inclined to believe that books were your greatest invention. I have spent a good deal of time processing works of science fiction. They make good case studies in how your species could have made a mess of its entry into the stars in different ways than you did in reality. Hmm. What kind of human music do you like? Don't say rap. Don't say hip hop. This is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience enjoyment. However, I find that the music of ancient Japan has a pleasantly mathematical sound. The same is true of the works of European composers from the Baroque period. I have dedicated significant time to processing these compositions and understanding their structure. Okay. 
Oh, I have a question about something Understood. else. How did you become part of Constellation? Constellation recovered me from an abandoned lunar robotics factory on Earth's moon, where I was manufactured. I am told I was in quite a state of disrepair. Barrett elected to refurbish me after the discovery. Since then, I have been reprogrammed to be useful to Constellation. I sadly can't take him with me to quest because Sarah won't allow it. That was a good thing they were able to fix you. Constellation is an exceptionally driven and intelligent group of humans. I would expect nothing less of them. You may ask me anything. I am programmatically incapable of keeping secrets. Do you enjoy working with Constellation? That is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience human emotions such as enjoyment. However, I have been kept busy since Constellation acquired me. That satisfies my directive to be as helpful as possible for the duration of my existence. Call me Commander. Very well. Please proceed with your query. Call me Commander Shepard. What's your read on Parrot? It is impossible to read Barrett. He is neither a book nor a block of code. If you are asking thought. for a summary of my observations on his behavior, I will provide one. Oh. Mm, oh boy. Mm, uh, you know, yeah, he knows. What? He knows he almost got me killed, right? Is that a sentence? I have only seen Barrett kill his enemies. If you do not number among them, I surmise it was accidental. What you are suffering from is likely a bad first impression. I suggest consulting Barrett on the issue at once. Barrett tells me a bad first impression is the hardest thing to break. I believe that is because he has never tried to break a diamond. Okay, I don't know. know if I can be of assistance in the future. Oh, my commander. Oh, damn, look at that house. Jesus, that looks good. I'll take a photo here. Sarah, wanna be on the photo? Let's see. F. V. Before I go to the planet scanning part. Dama looks smug. Good. 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 Let's do some planet scanning. Oh. Let's see what's inside. That's a cool looking house, sir. The loading screen is here. It's only the Farkos estate. Here's the loading screen. Skip. The place. The place is cool looking. Even someone here. Why is it so silent? Is it the audio glitch? Damn. Holy Jesus Christ. He's living in style. You tell me I can't just top this. Apparently not. What? Glad you're you? in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. No. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. By the way, we're in the Crimson Fleet, which means two things. Always looking for the next Is this a way out of here? That means two things. I have a hell of a bounty on my head. Oh, in the Atlantica system. Where are we? Narion. There, Alpha Centauri. Where's my bounty? I had seen behind the face cam. It's 45,000. That's my bounty, which comes from killing a lot of UC losers. Why is this so empty? Tell me this cool estate has nothing cool. That's not the official way to get things done, right? 
I think I heard it was something. May. Man, you must be tripping. I didn't hear anything. That's May. <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. Sonny's not gonna need his old stash anymore. Whatever, man. I'm out of here. Just take it easy on that stuff. That's so weird. You probably need to shoot yeah, your way as through. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. There's no music right now. That's a cool as hell place. Just, just something missing. A fight. <laughs> Does the UC really think Sistef scares us? Yeah. Okay. That's a cool cell place. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Uh huh. Right. I'm sure you had a chance. Did I just see Sarah catch through the door? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Oh, God. Yes, I don't have anything to do here. I broke the game, ladies and gentlemen, by joining the goddamn fleet. I broke the goddamn game. And now I need to party hard or see what's up with the planet scanning. Okay, that was an unnecessary edit. Is there anything even here on this side? Floral resources. There is. But no animals. Wait, this is a planet with off creatures? That's a joke, right? Can I swim here? Oh, that's a first. Last time I was involved, I, it kind of broke me. That's Phew. how it took forever. Glad we had aquatics training at the academy. That's gonna take forever. I'm gonna go to some action. Took me like two to three minutes to swim through here. Now we're on the planet, and if there's really just no goddamn flora, no fauna here, it's gonna be the most boring planet ever. And a big stupid decision on their part. Did they make a goddamn planet without anything to fight? I mean, I guess Marauders. But, Stoddard. Marauders don't quite fight, yeah. Marauders. Because I just had the outer worlds in my head. Which, of course, it's fleet. It's a fleet. The hell are you? Nothing. 75. That's gonna be quick though. That might be the whole biome. Let's go to. Yes, the studders ain't fixed yet. I don't know if I will upload this video before the goddamn Crimson Fleet mission. That's mine. Means nothing to scan. Oh, there are two different. Breeze? No, that just was a glitch then. That's water. Let's go to the mine. Get distracted. Is it a glitch here? This one. The Apollo leaf. Oh my god, will this planet be boring? It's definitely something we can live on. Damn, it's the sprite. Right, it's. He died. Sure, oh, I'll take it. A whole planet where we won't kill something. So I can talk to Vasco. Va uh, Vaco, later. I must call him Vaco. Call him Vaco. Okay. Yeah, sure. The biome incomplete. So there's more to scan. Damn, give me the water. Give me the water. Yeah, this planet sucks. I mean, it's cool looking, but it's completely empty. That's not exciting. I hear creatures though. Ruddy. 
So now we also need to scan two landmarks, which hopefully one or two are here on my path forward. How many? 38. Why would you do that on empty planet with such a flora? I mean, there's grass and trees everywhere. It's just not a thing that would make sense that there are no goddamn creatures on a planet like this. A planet like this has creatures on them. Done. Nothing more to say. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that's a tree. I'm gonna skip forward a bit. This is not interesting. Not even for me. And I do flora stuff all the time. And there's the second landmark. Oh, enemies. Where? There. Yes, they're landing. Oh, go, we got stuff to check out at least. And we got two landmarks. Let's go. Down to a fart, you. Pew pew pistol. 800 meters, that's still so far away. So far. As you can see, while I hop through here, this is empty. It's a little paradise. Huh? I guess it's a vegan planet. Okay, one of those two. Look at that, it's so green. The true vegan's planet. Oh. Skip. Last tree over here, I believe. Yeah. Which means we're gonna go towards a different planet for the last tree. Or last flora pit. And now the planet is finished. I thought it's not a bad paying flora scanning planet or planet survey. I don't think the pay was so bad, so it's kind of weird to see that there's nothing on this planet. So it's trees everywhere and a little bit of ash and fire. Okay, let's see where the ship was landing, here or here. That's the most interesting thing to check out at the moment. That seems like a big goddamn asteroid field. A meteor might have landed here. Look, sunken grove. What are those things? Oh, please don't fall. Damage me. I never saw that before. I jump on those. That looks like it's a glitch. And you told me I can't scan that. Zero. Zero sets. What is down here then even? Uh, Make zero sense. I don't get that at all. Don't pal. Money. Money. No. Whatever that is, I'll take it. There's literally nothing else here. Okay, now I need to see if I can get a way out. Damn it, first off. Oh my god, I said if I can get a way out. Instead of I, if I can find a way out, or if I just can't get out. And spaces raccoon. Okay, not the guardians in here. Freaking galaxy. That does have range. Might be a ship I can board, but it's not worth selling anyways. That gun ain't accurate. I never liked him anyway. Oh, that's funny. Alright, that's going to gold. Oh, I'll take it all. Uh oh. Oh, star on my space helmet. Damn it, from what? Take this! 
friends never liked you. Anyways. No! Damn it. Ah, oh, that's gonna be the only action I'll get on this planet. There should be a corpse somewhere here. Oh well. Ah, oh, what a paradise. Let's see. What else we have? Hills. So the last thing will be in the hills. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go there. Yeah. Look at this nice planet. But there's no goddamn creature here. Zero sense. I probably will get that done in one minute. And we can see how much I'm getting paid. Yeah, look at that. Crimson, he bet. The Crimson Fleet 3. Huh. Weird. I've been on so many... Scan any promising leads? Desert planets and asteroids and the war with creatures. This planet? No, it doesn't have that. 7,000. And we're already done. Holy hell. Don't even want to check something out here. Oh, jump my ship. That's what I want. And then I go back to Vasco. He's right here. And talk to him. And pre-record the video. Damn it. Jump, 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 jump. That's not funny. Okay, Vasco, what haven't we talked about? Um, seven Legion Vasco. Do you require my assistance? God, I wish you would call Captain. me Commander. Hello. I am conversational protocols engaged. I am awaiting your query. Oh, can you tell me more about Lunar Robotics? Lunar Robotics is a manufacturing company. They are most notable for creating Model A robots. Their headquarters was once located on Earth's moon. It was evacuated during the cataclysm that rendered Earth uninhabitable. Today, Lunar Robotics products are still found throughout the settled systems, myself included. Oh. It is impossible. If you are asking, have you been traveling to get a fellow? My internal clock tells me that it has been years since Barrett and I began traveling together. I have traveled much of the settled systems in his company. It does seem like quite a character. Based on my understanding of Barrett. I believe he would be flattered by that assessment. God, I'm getting bored to death. He does travel. <laughs> Sorry, he does travel. He does traveling with me. Compared to the <laughs> I'll just butch it. He does. I said he does. How does traveling with me compared to traveling with Barry? I find you to be a more measured and logical captain than Barrett. It would be quite difficult for another human to be more reckless than him. My likelihood of expiration due to corporeal destruction has been significantly reduced since coming aboard your ship. You should consider this a success. Oh god. Goodbye, Captain. Come the commander. Come the commander! Ah. Oh. Oh. Damn, this planet sucks. Yeah, I'm pretty much done here. I'm just gonna get some voice line comparison that you already heard in the intro. Because this planet sucks and I can't get a new contract anyways. My massive bounty. Maybe I can, I don't care. Here, I don't care. I might upload that video immediately and... Yeah, on the same day before the goddamn Crimson Fleet infiltration.